Hello and welcome back to this old wasteland house. This episode we're going to show you how to set up supply lines and also make some more places for people to live up here because this will cut two birds with one stone. One thing we needed was bed stuff. We have enough to make no beds because we need cloth. So what do we need to do? We need to set up a supply line. So I'm going to be doing a star-ish pattern. I'm going to have all the settlements connect to one uh, main place. And how you, before I start, how you get the, the supply lines available to be made is you need local leader perk, which you need six points in charisma to get. And then you have local leader perk. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take this lovely settler right here. Doesn't seem to be doing anything particular. Supply line. And then we're going to select the castle. Sign supply line to the castle? Yes, confirm. So, it's pretty much instant. Let's see. Yes, we do. There. We now have 108, 178 cloth. So we can go ahead and get all the work done we need to do here. Because what I did was I connected castle with sanctuary, which has got the majority of the stuff. And then I connected everything to castle. So this little intermingling thing should all work out well. Oh, let's drop a bunch of beds in this. We, as you watched in a previous episode, we had a, a bunch of new stuff in here. So, in fact, we should probably just... I don't know if we should bother expanding this or drop a couple here. We're down six beds. We need a... Really, we need a whole other building. We need to expand this out further. In some form or fashion. Hmm. Because <laughs> we couldn't add walls, like, we couldn't make this livable, which is what I wanted to do, but somehow this got in the way of that. I wonder if I put this away, and instead of making this a wall, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Let's take this, uh, let's store this. Let's store this piece, hopefully everything doesn't crash. Yes. And uh, let's make it a prefab that is does not have walls on it. This type. Eh. Find him. Look at it to bring it. Oh crap! We're under attack. What the? I think they can handle that. So we want to store this. Then we want to. Prefab that. You got that? Oh no. Got the flamer. Get an actual gun so I can shoot them. Where's my sniper? There we go. That was just dogs. Just some dogs. Alright, back to what we're doing. Nope. So, Let's go ahead and store this wall. Uh, actually, cancel, store that, and then we'll store this. So, let's go ahead and make this into four. There we go. Yay, we can connect these. Eh. Connect that there. Connect that there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. We could even put this here. Here. And then there. We can make some walls. Button all that up. Actually, let's do one more. Right here. Right there. We can make this a nice room. So we'll have plenty of room in here for the, all the people that we need to house. And uh, let's put in some walls. Regular walls, 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 walls. I want some nice walls. Right, we already have two of these in stock, so that's good. Granted, we got plenty of steel now. And obviously what we're going to need to do is replace that one with something else. The wall there. I, wanna put a, I wish I could put a wall with a door. I don't want these obnoxious doors, like... I wish it would let me just, you know, attach it! Oh, 
Why is that letting me attach it? It's frustrating, honestly. So what we want to do is we want to replace this piece. We need to move this somewhere else. Put that right there for the moment. Go ahead and store this. We'll put another one of those prefabs like so. Right here, the one that we can add the walls to. Those, personally, I think, when you want this type of expandable situation, uh, this really scalable, you don't want to use these pre-cut corners because then you can't add walls and stuff to them as necessary later. So let's put it here. Scroll down to get that to happen. Bamst. We could even throw that there. Now we can just keep taking this out as far as we damn well please. Making a giant structure here. There. So we could. Ooh, I know what we should do. I've got it! I'm gonna make this obnoxious, physics defying thing you've ever seen. I fell. That's awkward. We're going to build our defenses on that. We're going to wall off... Uh, we're going to wall off the section that's important. So we'll like... We'll put a doorway in one of these. And we'll make a bridge to a second section. We'll also connect that area up there. It'll be all sorts of fantastic. Let's go ahead and add some walls. <laughs> You know I want to connect. I can put you here, but I cannot put you here. Why not? Why not? Tell me. Please. Uh, give me your secrets. Why don't you... Is there something on the ground there? Like, why? Please. I can put that there. I can put that there. I want to bring it all the way over to the beds at least. Is it because there's a wall here? The hell? Why can't I? Oh, this is a... annoying. Maybe if I take this, then store that, and then put it back on. Will it allow me to do that then? Do that. Maybe it somehow is retarded. Oh, it will not. Oh, let me put a wall there. Then we'll go ahead and put one there. I should put like half walls. Actually, what we should do is put walls all along this side. Let people defend from the inner side. Put some turrets right here. Stuff like that. Alright, well, let's just get the beds down what we need. Because we need the beds so people can live and be happy. Beds down over here. Because the people are starting to get bitchy. 11. 12. Thirteen. Fifteen. And we'll put sixteen right here. There. That should increase some happiness. Now let's go ahead and pop some more lights in. We need to do that by actually connecting more copper cable. Which copper do we have now that we have everything, these couple connected? Copper, 91. So we're looking, we're in business for connecting all the lights and stuff. We can get a nice, nice lighting system going here. Let's go ahead and connect this outlet to that outlet. Go. There we go. That'll light up some more. Um... 
We have a bunch of lazy asses standing around here. That's for damn. We got 10 food, 16 people. I don't know what in the world happened to our food, so let's go ahead and add some more lights inside. Yep. Go up there and put the lights inside. Try using a floor piece and then a wall? Okay, let's try that first. Try that first. Let's take... Well, then we'll have to make a ceiling. Store this. Let's try... Oh, we gotta store the... Two... Metal... There are no metal floors. No wood floor. Door. Nope. And then let's try adding some... Metal walls. Bill doesn't freaking like this. <sighs> this is really annoying. Like it just doesn't like that type of wall? No. This doesn't like that wall at all. I mean, I guess what I would really want to do is just use a bunch of the floors, but then how far back do I have to take this? We'll play around with this some later. Play around with this some later. We'll leave that the way it is for the moment. It, it gives some people options. We might end up coming and getting rid of all this and starting over from scratch. That's always an options. An option. Uh, right. Lights. We got one light there, one light there. And another light. Aw, oh, boo, it won't. The light there. I want to add another light. But out here, we're going to need to get some more connectors. That is going to be the fun part of how to get this power conduit to connect. I guess we could bring it inside. But it doesn't let you, like, say... But, like, well, since we have power here, you can throw a connector there and then just wire it to another connector over here. Oh, snap. You can go through the walls. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Helps. That helps a ton! Here. And then we can. Victor out here somewhere. Don't know where it is. We're going to go find it, damn it. Yay, it's so much more lit in here. I had a light. Did. Connector over here. I'm sure that the, uh. The, whoops. I'm sure that the power company would like to have a conversation with me about how exactly I do my wiring. Make people feel a little less, a little less, uh, you know, claustrophobic, I guess. We'll add something to that light later, after we decide what we want to do. Now that we have all this wired in here, that's very nice. Quite pleasant. Add some chairs. Furniture. Chair. Add some benches outside by the vegetation things. We can come out here and chill. We already added a bench over there. 
Is that a bench? Right here. These people? To chill from? I prefer that they sit and watch outwards. Make a fancy chair. I'll put it... Put it right here. Fancy chair, fancy chair. Another one right here. I'll put one more right there. Give people some nice places to sit. We have bar stools. Ooh, look at that. Put some more bar stools down. Let's add some entertainment. What kind of entertainment do we want to get? Uh, let's do decorations, maybe? Plenius. What a jukebox. Jukebox! A box right by this guy's head. Hmm. Where should we put the jukebox? They should put the jukebox out here. We wire that one through the floor. Oh. We'll move the jute box out here. Might not have enough, uh... Oh. Just in range. Nice. I guess I don't necessarily have to have those against the ceiling. A good start. We got 16 beds, 16 people. We're gonna need to add some more because people are going to, you know, show up and want to uh, do stuff. Although we do need to freaking deal with that food situation. Like, there's a lot of people and not that much food. food out here. A lawnmower. Let's put more mud fruit. There we go. You guys, take care of that. Ooh. Looks like they've all got that covered. Alright, 21 food. Hooray. I got 76 corn. Actually, at my point now, I'm running out of what fruit when it comes to making it adhesive. Let's build these guys some more defenses because they seem to get attacked pretty often. Defenses. Guard posts. Make a second story guard post. That here. Another one over here again. One over there. 
way. And let's throw down some turrets. Gun at rank two. We're only gonna be able to make B. We'll put this one by that one. They'll put the last one on top of that roof. This one up, y'all. Oh. Need to make some stairs. Arr. Perfect. Let's make our turrets. Go up here, little buddy. Cover everything from up y'all. Hey, yo. There. 34 defense, 29 food, 13 water. Probably use some more water generation capabilities. But it apparently is sating every day. But we'll pop another water down. Because why not? So, that's pretty much it for uh, what I'm going to do for right now on Starlight Drive. But, I hope it helps you in learning how to create supply lines. And I've had fun doing this. I'm going to continue going to and from different, different areas and connecting supply lines. Although Abernathy Farms has one person, so that's going to be a little awkward. But they really need the... It says it has one person. For a while, Sanctuary said it had seven people, but whenever I went to it, it had... Uh, uh, plenty of... still had 13, so I have no idea what's going on in that regard. Like... There... It says there's 13 people here. Like, seriously, I have to build a ton of beds. And it says there's... One person here? Are these guys high? Let's go ahead and uh, take a settler. Well, you can do supply lines. You can go to the castle. There you go. Yes, a sign supply line with castle. Congratulations. Now we can make more beds. After, of course, we add more places for beds to be made. So, we'll make this into another episode, and we will just go ahead and work on out over here, and uh, that'll be that. So, thank you for joining me for this episode of this old wasteland house and join us next time which will be on youtube tomorrow on stream right now see you then